Hey everybody, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and today we're inside the new Minecraft Snapshot 12W32A which has quite a few new cool features which are set to be in Minecraft 1.4 which they're already starting development on on top of fixing some bugs in 1.3 which have come apparent. Anyway, there's some really cool new features in here and I'm going to show you a couple of them today. So the first one, I've set up a little thing over here and it's to do with these things at the end which are they're officially called work in progress, so if you're in the snapshot yourself and you want to find them, just type work. Uh, work in progress, obviously a really awesome name for these, but they've also been nicknamed a pyramid beacons, because as you can see, you have to make, well, the first step is you have to make blocks of emerald, gold, iron or diamond, which are very, very uh, material consuming, so you've got to be careful making these in like normal survival if you ever do and you have to make pyramids of different sizes you go up to one two or three and they give you different powers within the work in progress or pyramid beacons so we've set up a one layer emerald one here so we're going to plop a beacon down here and any seconds now it is going to ping a an amazing beam of light right into the and there it is right into the air a massive beacon of light hence the name pyramid beacons so what can you do from here i hear you ask right you right click onto the work in progress and here you've got some pretty cool new looking things so here you can see as i said earlier you've got layer one layer pyramids two layer pyramids and three layer pyramids which all give different kind of powers so you select the power you want you have speed or haste so i'm going to click speed because it's easier to showcase basically and then you have to put a certain block in or like you have to put in iron gold, diamond, or emerald. It doesn't matter what the pyramid's made out of at the moment, but you can put in any kind of power. Here, I'm gonna use the iron ingot. Click, sorry, gold, one more on about. Gold ingot into the little box here. And this, after clicking the tick, will give us a power up. So when we walk through this beacon, it should happen any second now. Any second now. Yeah, there we go. The little swirlies come up and we're given speed. So every time we, these beacons just aren't, aren't just good for showing the way in adventure maps. They are great for giving you a little extra boost during an adventure map. So while we're in this, the radius of this particular pyramid, we're given speed. So as soon as, well, as long as we're standing in the vicinity of this certain pyramid, as you can see just there, it keeps boosting up your speed back up to eight seconds. But if we quickly move away over here, let's quickly take a fly over here. You'll see that the speed will slowly count down and eventually run out because we're not in the radius of that pyramid anymore. If we move back into the radius of the pyramid, we will gain speed and yeah, that's pretty much what the beacons do. But over here, I'm gonna show you a two layer one. Now, as you can imagine, this is purely made out of gold. Um, you have to solidly make out of gold as I'm showing here. So let's rebuild that again. This is a two layer pyramid. Considering each block needs nine of the material making it out of, yeah, it's very material consuming, so yeah, be careful making them in survival. So if I put the work in progress on top, we've got another level unlocked. So as we've made a two layer pyramid, we have another set of, well, two more powers that we can apply to this beacon. So we've got resistance or jump boost. I'm going to choose resistance, put an eye, a gold ingot. I don't know why I keep calling iron, that's pretty stupid. But I'll put gold ingot in here, click done, and we've got another pyramid set up. So we'll gain another power from this, which is resistance, which I'm sure means you take less damage or you're resistant to fire or something like that. But as you can see, we are affected by both at the minute and that's because we're in the same radius. Well, we're in between both radiuses of both pyramids. But if I fly over here, like I do with the other one, we'll be outside the radius of the speed one, but inside the radius of the resistance one. So the speed will slowly tick down, but resistance will keep powering itself back up again. And that is pretty much your pyramid beacons all work in progress as they're currently called in the new Minecraft snapshot. So I'm gonna move on to another one now and move over here so we get the annoying swirly things out of our face. And this next one is called the command block. Now I haven't currently gone in my command, my hotbar, sorry, because you can't craft it and you can't search it in a in the new creative mode either. So what you have to do to get it is have cheats enabled, go to give, type your username. Why is mine so damn long? And the code for it is 137 in the new snapshot. Hit enter and out pops. A beautiful new command block so this command block you place it onto the floor or uh, anywhere I guess and it's gonna be pretty useful for another useful uh, tool for adventure map makers so this one 
if you right click it, it says set console command for block, so you can set any kind of command here. This one, we're gonna make some kind of pork generator, which is gonna be the most amazing use for a console command block, obviously. So we go to give, and it's also giving you these extra special little commands that you can use, because obviously if you're creating an adventure map, you're not gonna know the player's name. So if you go to at P, it will give it to the nearest player, which is obviously the one that pushes the switch to activate the command block. At R is random player on the map, and at A is to target all players. So this can, as you can imagine, give some really creative ideas to adventure map players. So if I put in the code for cooked pork chop, press enter or click done, and it says command set, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner. So if I set this up, I'll give myself some redstone, lead that away, do it correctly, and plop a lever down here. And if I right click the lever to activate it, Oh my god, I've been given a cooked pork chop. So I can do this as many times as I like. Every time the lever is activated, it'll give me a new pork chop or, and well, follow the commands that has been put into the block. So for the next one, I need to set it to night. So I'm going to go for time set night, click done. It'll tell me that it's com the command block is set like that. Flick the switch and oh, it's automatically put it to night and the command block works nicely. So two very cool things that can be implemented into adventure maps in the future for all you creative minds out there. On this one we're gonna wreak some havoc on these poor certificates here. As you can see I'm holding a spawn zombie egg and, and these next two inclusions are all about our favorite mobs, uh, zombies. So zombies are getting a little upgrade on what they can do. Usually they you choose their prey which is testificates or you if you're not in creative mode and they kill the testificates, basically, to put it quite bluntly, the poor testificates. But first, I'm going to go into hard mode because I need to be in the highest difficulty to show you the next edition. But going back to what I said, they prey on testificates, but now I'm going to show you what what they do to testificates now. They don't just kill them, they do something else. So as I open the door, these testificates are going to look at me with watery eyes, these cute little, little puppy dog eyes so that I don't wreak havoc on them but they're panicking a bit and I'm gonna spawn some zombies on them. So these zombies are gonna wreak havoc on testificates, testificates as normal and as you can see they've not only tried to kill the testificates they've turned them into zombies so now you can get zombie testificates. Let's see if we can get a good shot one here. There you go the ones that look like testificates but green and they're uh, after each other and stuff. But an additional one you may have just seen one there which is over here but I'll give you a better idea of it over here. That was a pretty good looking one actually. Um, mobs can now spawn depending on your difficulty. We're obviously in hard so it's going to happen more often and more powerful. But mobs can now spawn with weapons and armor. As you can see there, look, it's got an iron sword ready to cut your head off rather than just normally eat your brains. That one there's got a nice spade to bash your brains in with. And they can spawn with armor all the way up to, I think they can spawn with diamond armor depending on what difficulty you've got. And we've got it on the highest, so they can spawn with all kinds of things. Let me try and see if they can, if we can find that chainmail one from earlier. Don't know if I can find it. Spawn a few more. This poor test of, there it is. Look, he spawned with pure chainmail armor. So he's gonna, is that enchanted as well? Oh, wow. So yeah, that's gonna make hard quests even harder and obviously whets the appetites or the creative gets the creative ju juices flowing of adventure map builders so there you can see another one spawned with a sword and yeah zombies got a lot more powerful <laughs> with their ability to take over testificates and wield weapons and get their own form of weapons to start beating you down with and that is pretty much oh i've forgotten one thing so let's quickly change all this to peaceful mode give these testificates a break and set this command block to day just show off the command block once more ding set it to day and see if we can find any villagers that are left because there's one more thing uh trading was introduced in 1.3 as i'm sure all of you know and testificates have been given an extra little power to do with the trading i um, think i've wiped them all out to be honest uh i might have to spawn one in quickly so let's find a decent decent trade going. So here we go. Wow, that's a deal as well. Seven emeralds for some diamond boots. So we take the diamond boots and usually little swells come out of him, little purple swells. But now, as you can see, look, he's got green sparkles coming out of him, which is because 
Testificates, NPCs, villagers, whatever you want to call them, now will react positively and negatively to trade. So you trade with him, he was nice, nicey nicey to him. But if we show him some aggression now, little storm clouds come out of him, he's getting all aggressive. I'm not sure what the downside is, maybe things get more expensive. But let's try trading with him again to get some nice, some nice feelings going between us. Uh, looks like he's not going to be nice to us because we've been hitting him up a little bit. Understandable, <laughs> I must admit. Uh, 12 books for an emerald, wow. Trade him again, see if we get the sparkles. We've got a lot of diamond boots for deals around here. Deals going around everywhere. But yeah, what I wanted to show you was the positive sparkles. He'll give you money off sometimes as well if you are nice enough to them and don't hit them straight after you made a deal with them. But the negative aspects aren't too clear yet. I'm sure they'll be some interesting ones in the future. And that is pretty much your snapshot 12W32A for Minecraft 1.4, which is coming out. Well, we don't know when it's coming out, but it'll be coming out next year, I would have thought. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. A like, favorite, and comment is also appreciated. And it's been Dan of the Diamond Minecart here showing you the new Minecraft snapshot 12W32A.